To truly understand evolution, let's take a closer look at one of the most famous examples, the finches of the Galapagos Islands. This was the case that Charles Darwin observed during his voyage on the HMS Beagle in the 1830s, and it became one of the foundational pieces of evidence for his theory of evolution by natural selection. Picture this. Millions of years ago, a single group of finches lived on the mainland of South America. Then, one day, perhaps driven by a storm or simply by the urge to explore, a small flock of these finches made an incredible journey across the ocean and arrived at the Galapagos Islands, an isolated archipelago about 1,000 kilometers off the coast. Now, the Galapagos Islands are not just one big piece of land, they are made up of many smaller islands, each with its own unique environment. Some islands are dry, with tough, thorny plants and lots of hard seeds. Others are lush and full of soft fruits and insects. On some, you'll find cacti, with their fleshy flowers and juicy pads, while others have trees rich in leaves and small insects crawling around. When these finches first arrived, they found themselves in a paradise with plenty of food and no real competition. But as the population grew, they started to face challenges. Not every finch could eat the same food, and the island's resources were limited. In this scenario, even the smallest advantage could mean the difference between life and death. This is where evolution by natural selection took over. On an island where hard seeds were abundant, finches with slightly larger, stronger beaks were more successful at cracking them open and getting to the nutritious insides. Over many generations, these finches passed on their genes for bigger beaks to their offspring. As the years turned into centuries, and the centuries into millennia, these finches evolved larger, more powerful beaks that perfectly suited the available food on that particular island. But it didn't end there. On another island, where insects were the main food source, finches with thinner, sharper beaks were better at snatching up bugs hiding in tree bark or under leaves. Here, finches with slender beaks thrived. And over time, this trait became more pronounced in the population. And on islands with plenty of cactus flowers, finches with longer, more pointed beaks could reach into the flowers and eat the pollen and nectar, gaining access to food that others couldn't. Over thousands of years, these finches adapted so well to their specific island environments that they became entirely different from each other. They had evolved into several distinct species, each with its own beak shape and feeding habits. There were now finches that specialized in cracking seeds, finches that fed on insects, finches that drank nectar, and even finches that used twigs or cactus spines as tools to fish insects out of tree bark, a behavior that hinted at a remarkable level of intelligence and adaptability. Darwin was astonished by what he saw. Here was clear evidence that these finches, although descended from a common ancestor, had adapted to their unique environments over time. Nature itself had selected the traits that helped these birds survive in their respective habitats. This process of natural selection acted like a sculptor, shaping each species according to the challenges and opportunities of their environment. This phenomenon wasn't just limited to finches. It was happening all around the world, in every living organism, from tiny bacteria to towering trees. Evolution is a slow, patient process, taking millions of years to create the vast diversity of life we see today. In essence, the story of Darwin's finches is a microcosm of life's journey on Earth. It's a beautiful demonstration of how, through countless small changes, species can adapt, diversify, and even split into entirely new forms of life. This process is not random. It's guided by the pressures of the environment, the availability of food, the presence of predators, the challenges of finding a mate. Evolution, through natural selection, is the engine that drives the endless variety and complexity of life. And it's the same process that, over billions of years, took single-celled organisms and turned them into fish, then amphibians, then reptiles, then mammals, and eventually us, humans. Like the finches, we too are the product of countless adaptations, trials, and changes, shaped by our environment and circumstances.